Good evening, Star Wars fans. Uh, welcome to another SWCCG OCS playoffs event. I am, as always, Dan Tartaglione, also known as D Tartaglione. Joining me tonight is my uh, my trusty Huckleberry, Mr. Garrett Larson. How are you doing today, Garrett? You know, I work for the government, so I had the day off because of uh, Veterans Day. Thank you for your service, Dan. And so I'm doing well. Yeah, I did not have the day off. So, yeah. I, uh, I took a nap. I, so. I will say I did take a nap today, but that was also my lunch hour. So, yeah. yeah <laughs> but, no, uh, no. so tonight we have at least the first game of Matt Harrison Trainer versus Chris Wirfs. Uh, this is to get, this is a top four matchup. Uh, how excited are you? I'm excited. Like, this is the winner of this match goes on to the championship round. They're going to face B. Fred, Ryan Fred, in the championship round. And this is this is what high-level Star Wars is going to be about. Like, we've talked yeah. about this in other things. Like, MHT, Matt Harrison Trainer is just... He's, Matt's a beast. He's, he, he's, he's insane. So He is... He always shows up. He always... Mm -hmm. every online event he's in the top he's near the top he's the number one seed in this and then you've got chris werfs who's quietly turned into one of the top players around what like, do you mean turned into he was always one of the top players but it it's quite he's quiet about it like you never yeah. you don't always see his name show up and he's never you know you look at like the fantasy things and stuff and you never see a ton of talk about him but then he's always at the top table oh, so it's always ready wow. to go and yeah this is uh i mean i'm not surprised by what matt picked for light side but i was not ready for dark side senate robbie hendon somewhere is smiling i'll be honest i'm a little surprised about matt's choice simply because this is match play and no idea doesn't win by a lot. No, but it is one of like, those deck that decks that has the possibility of winning. And that's what it comes down to is like you got to make sure that you win. Yeah, and, and it's definitely a deck that's going to win a lot of games. It's just and that's the it one wins thing. a lot of games by 10. But at the same time, though, Matt is one of those players who is really, really, really good with no idea. Agreed. And I'm not shocked to see it. The Senate has me thrown. I think Chris might be a little thrown as well, as we saw he starts Phantom Menace and like. I just don't. I, I you got to think that is his normal third start. Yeah, uh, he probably doesn't have another one, which is interesting. I mean, I like the start. I'm assuming the play here is he's going to jury juice to grab the cantina. Mm-hmm. His plan is to drop Maul at the desert landing site with a saber and just say, all right, on turn one, I'm going to drain you for, you know... A lot. For force. Yeah. Like, it's, let's just start this clock going hard and fast. And I think that's a good line of play if you're Chris. Because one thing that this No Idea deck does is if, you, if it has the chance of stabilizing it, it can retrieve a decent amount of force. Yeah. Like, it puts a ton of cards on table... But it does definitely do a lot of, hey, I drew a rebel, so I'm going to retrieve and mm -hmm. just stay alive. Or I have Luke up in space. I'm just going to retrieve one a turn. And yep. that's one of the big ways that this deck can easily just start, like, snowball into a win. I see. And I'm not sure I would count on Luke staying in space. Like, one of the things um, Senate tends to run, or used to always run pretty aggressively, was Baron Fell and the gun. Mm -hmm. And that's going to cause problems up in space. Will it? Because like most of the no idea starships at this point are capitals. Like the Tana Four is a capital. Bright Hope, which if you're playing it, is a capital. Lightmaker is a capital. Rogue One's not though. Rogue One is not. Uh, uh, Han Show and the Falcon is not. But it comes down to like what kind of space package is worth playing. Because, agreed. like you said, I was not expecting Dark Side Senate. This was not on my bingo card for what he could play. That being said, it's definitely a deck that has floated on the edges of competitive play. I know Kyle Kruger has played it occasionally and done well with it because it's one of those decks where if you're not ready for it, it can really do a ton of damage. 
Yep, and there's the squabbling delegates to go get a senator or a Coruscant guard. I gotta assume that's gonna be uh, Lot Dodd. Lot Dodd. Lot Dodd. Yeb Yeb. There's so many good dark side senators, which is kind of interesting. Like, like. And I think Chris is also probably playing count the count the malls, make sure the sabers in there, make sure the cantina's in there. Like, yeah. This early search with Senate, you're looking for a lot of things. And he might also be playing the, you know, where can I find the hover camp? Mm-hmm. Did I act? And he took Edsel. Edsel, who uh, may not draw more than one battle Desi at battleground sites, so that completely shuts, shuts down Jin. Yeah, it, touched, it does shut down Jin. I don't hate that grab. Like, I don't. We don't know, you know. And I say this a lot when we're streaming like we don't know what's in people's hands mm -hmm. you know i gotta wonder if maybe he's already got yeb yeb and or lot dodd yeah and there's because the, lot dodd's gotta be your priority like, and there's yavin sentry and goldenrod from matt yeah i mean and that's fine yeah, it's, no surprises there i mean it, it makes you pay two for mall so yeah I, i'm a little surprised with that because the making him pay two from all isn't really going to slow things down. Like Chris is absolutely going to pay two from all Matt probably still wants the Senate shield. He's probably going to want battle order. He's possibly going to want aim high. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of shields. He might want to be playing here. Yeah. And, and that's what I was thinking was you don't know how many shields we're going to see be played because well, the Senate Shield, it doesn't help if you don't... It, it doesn't really help that much if your opponent's not playing political effects, though. It still protects your hand. True. And that's actually a much, much bigger thing. Like, if I could play Senate without any political effects, but the ability to just strip your hand every turn... Yeah, that's a good point. Senate's still insanely strong. Yeah. Like that that's a big, big deal. So we do see the Lone Hunter Mall. And Chris is going to get the lightsaber now. Yep, there he it is. Didn't deploy the Cantina yet. Well he's still in his deploy phase. Yeah. There it is. There you oh, go. Oh, he had it from hand. Yeah. Uh, and one thing that I, you could see him do is with the Cantina, he's allowed to once per turn download Josh Pure, Tonica Sisters, or a Jabba's Palace. Woo her? If he's got the woo her, that turns off the generation there. Uh, well, actually, no, it doesn't because then Jabba has to be on Tatooine as well, I think it is. And yeah. woo her also, or, well, yeah, it's Jabba's Palace woo her, so it doesn't, you can't get Premier woo her that will destroy the Maul's saber. Yeah. Which would be bad. And we see Chris just drawing a few, which makes a lot of sense. Like, Yeah, but like you said, he's started the process of that, again, that, dra that possible drain of four next turn. Yeah, and that's certainly the play here. Like, you're just going to start trying to run as much damage as you can. Because there's no way Matt can set up resistance this turn. Uh, I don't think resistance might be... I mean, if he can set up Menace Fades, that might be a good play. But that seems very... That still feels very risky. He'd have to open hand Menace yeah. Fades. Like, that would be a tough... Tough get. And honestly, this is an interesting... A real interesting meta choice from Chris because the other deck I think you could be kind of expecting at this point would be something like Zero Hour or QMC, both of which struggle against that heavy early pressure. And um, doing that same, just like, hey, here's Maul and Drain for four for a turn or two. Yeah. I mean, the one that's add up real quick. Zero Hour, yeah, it, it, you, it would take the Drain of four, but I do think, like, once you're, like, t turn two is where Zero Hour just dumps has the possibility of just dumping its entire hand, which is really is what you want it to do. And then you can easily set up the ultimatum. But like you said, I mean, that drain of four is just so detrimental for a light side person. Yeah. And like, Matt might be slow playing. Like, I could see him holding the beach for the moment. Just because right now, Chris is only activating eight force. Yes. Like, if Matt yeah. throws down Battle Order and just says, all right, well, you can drain me for four, but you're going to pay for it, and tries to make it a little bit of a slog. Why, why do I even suggest these things? 
Like I, I offer suggestions and immediately the players just. I mean, I, I will say like I do. I do kind of agree with you that that the idea of limiting what Worfs is doing, like giving him now nine, he would have given him nine force to work with. So he would have had if he pays the three to drain, it would have given him only six force to work with, and he still wants to go to the Senate. And interesting yeah. to see that Leia Organa is going to the beach because I feel like she was actually could be good at the Senate. Yeah, I'm okay. So so Matt's, Matt's going. Says, yeah, Matt's going hard. I, I can't imagine he's leaving Leia or Jin alone. No, I no, mean maybe no. he is because Chris has only got seven cards in hand, and we know one of them is Edsel. But that still feels. Very risky. Yeah, I, I will agree. Really with you. risky. And if he's gonna, I mean, he'll set up resistance here, or ultimatum. I, that's what it comes down to. Like, if he's got, say, if he, if he has menace fades and this is use pile pulling use pile, like getting uh, the, the menace fades with Ray, really good play. Or he's thinking about what he wants to grab. I think barrier should be in play here. Uh, There's obviously. a lot of cards that should be in play because this yeah. is a very aggressive line. Mm-hmm. Sand is fine. Like, I don't... Yeah, you'll stop the Senators from being plus two or three for a turn. I, like, I'm not expecting Menace Fades as much as I feel like he might just be going, I'm going to go super wide, I'm going to put Ultimatum out. But, like, if he drops Ultimate, Oh, so he did open hand the Menace Fades. That's... Or he drew it with the Ray. Or he grabbed it with Ray. Or he knew that one of those two cards in his reserve or in his force pile were the menace fades. So, and with the battle plan, I don't know if Chris pays to drain here. Uh, It really depends on what he's got in his hand. I mean, Matt only has a four card hand at this point. Like you said, you've got to think that he's going to move Jin over with Leia at this point. And at that point, that means he can't barrier. He he can't stop. Exactly. If Chris has something to come at them, this could be. But the question rough. is, now like, he's still got the like he doesn't have anything to put rebels out of play mm-hmm. to stop the swings. Not like, yet. He's got two destiny in there. I mean, this is if Chris comes down this. Well, time. that's the qu- question is like how is Matt or how is Chris going to move Maul from the cantina to Scarif because insurrection is on the table. So you're not afraid of the Ellis. You might be concerned about the Oda Nessler combo, but that is during the move phase. Uh, EPPs, I mean, EPPs aren't that good if you have like a sabotage in hand. Yeah, I mean, at some point you have to, like, Matt's got four cards in hand, and he had a spectacular hand. Yeah. Already with the Menace Fades and the other stuff. Like, at some point, you, if you're Chris, you're like, all right, I'm going to make you prove it. Yeah, and Chris just does like, go by his uh, control phase. And he is deploying a Nemoidian, and you got to think it's Lot Dodd or right, right here. Yeah, it's got to be. And there he is. And I think Chris might be saying, all right, I'm going to do this one time. I'm going to go, here's Lot Dodd, here's Edsel. Yep. I'm going to eat the drain for a turn, which stinks. But then I can start actually doing things. And especially like if he yeah. can get the hover cam out here. If he got that, this could get real interesting. And honestly, like even though Chris is about to lose probably four right here, once he once he gets multiple senators down, he can utilize squadron uh, uh, squadron delegates to retrieve. So it's he is going to have some retrieval this game. So that is nice for him. So I think he He's just has not to weather put down any political effects yet. But that's what I'm saying. I don't think you're going to play political effects because. Unfortunately, they just take up so much room. And I guess I would play one simply to try and force out the political effect shield. Like, that would be something I would look at and be like, I need to do, you know, I need to do something here. And you force out that last shield and now you get free retrieval. Potentially, because you're okay. probably running so first he strike. Okay, so he is playing some political effects, and we see him take the accepting Trade Federation control into hand, and that's the subtract three from a just run Battle Destiny. Yep. And you're right, Bill. This is a twist. We were talking about how Chris was going to drain for four, and instead Matt's going to 
drain for three and ping for uh, one. It's, or he is actually yeah, drain it's a drain four. of three because of Jin. Yep. So. so that's five points of damage. As we see, there goes lo uh, another Darth Maul Lone Hunter, Cold Feet, Count Dooku. There's the Stardust Pain. I don't mind the, the Maul from hand. No, I, Hyperwave I without, Scan. I don't think Maul's going to mm -mm. Scarif. And there's so. another lot dot off the top as well. So we were talking about how Chris was going to cause a, a lot of fast damage, whereas in turn it becomes Matt who is uh, doing the damage. Yeah. Okay. We but now Matt's have... got to reinforce and resupply here. Yeah, like I think and... Matt probably dodged a little bit of a bullet from Chris mm -hmm. because there's a lot of like that Demodian Phantom Menace. Could easily have been a here's a nuke gun ray plus P fifty nine. Shoot, draw two battle destinies and make things real interesting. Like Chris yeah. may have just not had the hand he needed to have. And I'll I'll agree with you with Car uh, Carl that the hyperwave scan is kind of big. Yeah. And here we go. Matt is reinforcing as we see Commander Van and Willard, who's pretty good with Leia Organa V. Although, I mean, I guess you could. You, we see the projection, which is obnoxious, but otherwise you're not doing much with that. And I think Chris is much more interested in trying to probably win this via battles than super heavy drains. I, honestly, I, I, I can't say one way or another. <laughs> Mostly because the menace fades. Like, Chris's initial plan might not have been that way. And there's Rogue One with Captain Cassian Andor. Just like in the movies. And Cassian does protect from the Baron shot. Yes, but you have to as put... As long some... as he's got a character. Yeah, exactly. He has to have somebody in the Lost Pile to do that. Yeah. So. And, and Matt's just going to draw a few, which makes sense. Like, he's... Yeah, and he can use... He's uh... in a real good spot right now. Yeah, and he should be able to use Willard here soon if he wants. To, he can start recycling cards. So, I mean, that's the thing. Like we're saying that Matt is in a good spot, and I agree with you. However, at the same time, now Worfs is going to be able to start drawing, uh, getting any card he wants from his force pile. So he's going to be able to start assembling what he wants to do from this point on. Problem is, he's still a little bit force choked. Like, uh, yeah, only, that's he's going to activate nine. He's going to take one out. Now you've only got eight force to play mm -hmm. with, and that's that's part of the problem right now. Is he? I, we haven't seen his. You've got to assume he's got the bridge. You've got to assume he's going to be playing the Senate cover game here soon at some point. Yep, I like how both Carl and Bill made the exact point I did, which is like, you got nine force. Like, how much can you hurt me with? Yeah, and nine I, force. I I understand that. Now, granted, he does still have the bonus of there's nothing in Lost right now. So even a simple, like, here's a EPP Vader could do a lot of damage on the ground. Uh, you got to remember, though, each of those characters there are defense value plus two. That's fine. All your senators are destiny five plus. Yeah. Like, you, you're hitting somebody. And it's especially depending on, you know, he's got the subtract three from Battle Destiny. Yeah, and, and that, we did point out that earlier, Bill, that the EPPs are not necessarily the best way to go with, unfortunately, because Sabotage is a really good card against them. Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm saying, like, Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith might be the best card. And there's uh, We Must Accelerate to go get a bridge. I really hope that's not the card... Uh... Yeah, Chris that crapped. that would feel really like, bad. That would be a real bad feeling, but the thing is now he's going to he's starting to get activation, which is great, but but he's behind. He's going to have 12 cards in lost. Yeah. Before he gets anything going and that's a that's a rough situation to be in. So there's security precautions like he's getting activation, which is great, but yeah, he's got to do something about that drain of three at the beach right now. Yeah, and short of throwing out the uh, 
I mean, even if he throws out the cancel a drain effect, like I mean, the cancel the pass- drain. So here's the good. thing: is there's Passel, and says he can get one thing. So he gets the accepting trade federation control, and that cannot be suspended or yeah. canceled. And that's the one that subtracts three. So yeah. he he's going to have at least that one to and know, to work with. He's limiting MHT to one battle destiny on at sites. Yeah. And but if he's limiting to like here's where again that choke lord would be amazing. You drop him, you choke out Leia. You can't. Oh, Leia can't be choked. There you go. Uh, yeah. Okay. So then you choke out Jin. Like, yeah, you have to choke out Jin. Oh, that rebel spies here can't be choked. Oh my gosh, you can't choke out anybody. Yeah, all right. What is well, this world coming at to? That's Wayne Brady is not happy right now. So <laughs> I got I got that reference. I he was Wayne Brady on decklist for years. So like I love the combo, you know, you're like here's immunity mains and I'm subtracting from all your battle destinies. And Chris is now, you know, getting some activation going. I mean, Tiki says he generates now plus two at the cantina. Like, mm-hmm. now he's got some stuff to roll. It's just, what are you going to do? What are you going to do about that? Ma- that you're nice eating little, five yeah, right you're now. eating. No, you're eating. Yeah, you're eating five, which like, is just does not feel good. I mean, if he has some way to get around that drain of five that drain of three i mean it's a little bit easier but the question is is what would he have like control set for stun maybe might be in play here but i doubt it because it is a destiny one and it just is it feels like it's one of those cards that you just don't want to have until you need it but yeah that's i'm just looking at the board presence right now and it's just like yeah chris is doing stuff at the senate but matt's over here on scarif doing scarif things and Scarif is just the ability to do that is just 10 times better. As much as I loved the here's free mall, here's all this stuff. When bat, when uh Goldenrod got dropped, I wonder if Chris wouldn't have been better served dropping mall at the data vault. Um not necessarily because you got to think of it this way like the mall he loses his immunity into attrition completely. Yeah, you can get the set the saber back and everything if you deploy another one. But I, I think then Matt just avoids mall completely and just goes to the beach and just starts draining away like he is. Well, if mall is there, Stardust can't leave the vault. True. So then he's got to attack mall. And he couldn't have done that that early. Like, you're not dropping... Yeah. Like, Jin alone against Maul is... Yep, and here we go. The drain of, The drain happened. Force field, Darth Maul, another Darth Maul, Lone Hunter. <laughs> the first squabbling delegates goes lost. Kylo Ren with lightsaber and a force field as well. Uh, so yeah, he loses the Maul is... and the, the first force field from hand. The rest off the top of the reserve deck. Losing the Kylo Ren, again, feels kind of bad. And thank you, Bill, for subscribing for 50 months. Uh, It is through your generosity that we have the PC and the PC keeps going. Yeah, this is... MHT having the open he had with the Menace Fades, with the guys to set it up. But that's the thing, like, how often is that going to happen in this? That that hurt Chris a lot. Like, if MHT doesn't have that almost perfect start i think yeah. this game is going very differently because chris is and chris I think, is behind a big eight ball right now and, and mht is just them, playing both this of them very know smart it. both of them 100 know that if he doesn't have the menace fades and the characters and the ship to set up the menace fades this game is completely different yeah and, and mht is playing this extremely smart like he definitely played that first turn very aggressively to get the menace fades to get that all set up now he's just says look i'm out draining you i'm causing way more yeah. damage like yeah it's i'm it's, just gonna load up these two locations and tell you to 
do something. It's like, to the until point where you can Chris do is something. the one who has to come down and do something. And I agree, Bill, that u 3 po is probably going to be the best thing for Chris at this point. Until, I mean, she finds like Corn Horn or... Uh, yeah. I need the answers for u 3 po Like, he needs u 3 po here, but again, he, he needs to do something. Like, he's yeah. going to have... He's got 15 force to work with now. He's going to lock out for something. He's still got six cards in hand. Like, well, he's going to have seven after he lots dot, yeah, dots, and he'll have four. He'll have fourteen to work with, which is still pretty decent. I, yeah, I he mean, had, he hasn't just... put a ton of things on table. Like that's part of it. You look at him and be like, they have a fairly close force count right now. Mm-hmm. Worfs has got twenty six thirty two to MHT's thirty five. Yeah, but I mean, look at the lost piles and look at the table. Just Agreed. The 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 table presence yeah. right now for MHT is just so much better than what Chris is able to do. Uh, unquestionably, if you showed me this table and said you can pick a side, I'm going to take MHT's side 100 percent right now. Like he is well, in a better that, position. Because, well, not only that, you you're a good guy, so you want to play as the good guys. No one has ever said I'm a good guy. Uh, Thank you. I'm I, the first then. You, you really are. And it's been a long time because I am old. But no, just, this but is... just remember, B. Fred is older. <clears throat> and so is Scott Langrell, honestly. So. Yeah, but I mean, people look at Scott and they're just like... Huh. Scott is an elder statesman. Like Scott, Scott, you know, Scott. no one looks at Scott as old. Scott is distinguished. Dis- yeah, he has that distinguished look to you, to him. B. Fred and I are just you... old. You have that look of I I'm gonna go to the punk rock band and enjoy some yeah I'm not distinguished substances. No one has ever called me distinguished. So Pierre is yeah Pierre you are older than uh, Scott if memory serves. So there's Mara with lightsaber like Chris okay. says I've got to do something. Yeah, and I think that's what unfortunately it comes down to is he's I mean he's got to have a gig here and he's just trying to. Yeah, grind I mean, some guys out. He's but like, down by twenty or twenty one in power. Yeah, he, like even if you put another guy there, you still probably want to have a gig. Yeah, and that's so, the problem. Again, that's what this no idea deck is going to be able to do is just drop a bunch of characters on any random character at the beach's head and outpower you by a lot and you're like oh what just happened and you're gonna have the same thing happen the next turn like that's the biggest the thing next. with this deck is it's not and the next all right so okay. there's dream panda all right so again i, I mean that's we're... a good again that's a good start but again the problem is one there's again there's still so much power but dr Evazan and panda bomba are able to get rid of those one of those characters and you got to think it's going to be the and or commando team just because there's there's so much power yeah that that's but again but like, it would still be what 17 to 10 in in matt's favor chris needs somebody else there like you kind of again that's what it comes down to you kind of want to see maul not at the cantina but over at the beach the, the one upside is especially early on when you're drawing mostly characters the destiny in this no idea deck is not great. So True. being able to subtract three from all of it, like potentially if Chris draws, get, I guess, but sand is going to get around the first two of those. Yeah. Yeah. This is Chris and is in a bad spot. Chris There's, is in a, and, and I think this, this just feels bad for Chris, but it also feels like he has to do something. And it unfortunately, like, Chris, I think, got a very good start for I think Senate. both of them did. Like, Chris, I think if you'd given him the, hey, this is the start you're going to have, Chris would probably. <laughs> yeah, Chris is suddenly like, this was not a good play. Yeah. But, like, Chris had a good start. It's just the Senate deck. Matt had an amazing start and got yeah. just got going so quick. And, and that's what it comes down to. Like, I don't feel like. Worfs has done anything. Oh, I don't like that at all. Now you just turned on Leia's at a Destiny 2 power. Uh, or attrition. 
you're going Destiny to power here. Yeah. Like, you just go straight. Straight raw power, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, like I'm you're, not disagreeing with you. Your raw power, you're already overpowering. Your raw power at least gives more of a chance of overflow. But the thing is, I don't think... effectively does the same thing. I don't thing. think Chris can initiate here, unfortunately. Yeah, and... And Matt drops the do it or not maybe he's reading the uh chat as carl's like well if he's reading the chat then matt's a cheater yeah oh i don't think he is i think he's just you know <laughs> the same stuff chris says i like death yes that's it chris might be <laughs> oh, uh that's, that's that's the quote of the day already sort of conceding that yep this is not going to end well no for him and MHC yeah. says, I can't give you a revert. And I don't think Chris is asking for one. I, I, don't. I don't think Chris is either. And oh, see, and that's yeah. another reason why I don't think Chris can initiate. Yeah. Not what I'm asking I, I think for. Chris is just. Chris is asking for a an, a, a gentle yeah. beating here. Yeah. Chris might be asking for a game revert. Like, can we just pick different decks? Let's try this again yeah. tomorrow. But he can't do that. And I think Matt, you know. Chris is a, yeah, and, and yeah. Chris is saying either way, I lose. Yeah, Chris is a very good guy. And he is. He is. He's I don't a think really he's. Good guy. You know, and, and so is Matt. Like, I, I don't think either of them are going into this with ill intentions. I think Chris no, is just sort no. of going. This is this, never this going to end well for me. No, and that's what it comes down to. Unfortunately, like I said, I think Chris is. <laughs> because of how aggressively Matt was able to get started, Chris's out was uh <laughs> this will be fun for this stream. Chris's out was he had to go right away. And without yeah. getting that, without hitting that, I'm he's behind the eight ball and... and and the thing is like Matt's gonna be able to cycle cards around now with willard he's going to be able to car draw cards with ray he's in a, he's such got a 10 he, cards in hand too yeah like, and he's got a he 10 might card just hand. be he might just be dropping his hand and hoping that chris doesn't have the gig even if chris has the gig you drop your hand and go all right if you have the gig great if not that's excuse like, me yeah. that's game but either way you know even if you have the gig then i'll move some guys over to the Data Vault and just proceed to continue draining for piles. As we see, there goes a Darth uh, Darth Vader with lightsaber off the top of the reserve deck. I mean, Let's if you're go. Chris, you're okay with losing that because it's only a destiny of one. Yeah. But again, I mean, it feels just bad losing a Darth Vader. Yeah, I... I, I think, as much as it pains me to say it, I think the Senate deck might just be a turn too slow for this no idea especially with the start matt got. but that's the thing what are the odds that matt like matt has this start how many games, okay take 10 games how many games do you give him that he has this start agreed this was you know that, that honestly the menace to. fades was the start because yeah. without menace fades i think he would have had to be playing he would have had to have leave character. he'd have eaten the drain of four or he'd have been playing super loose and lit, left somebody alone yeah uh, yep, yeah, he says no. Nope, yep, we're just going he's piling, and I have no I everybody, have no, no reason for him not to. Pretty sure at this point, Chris is, you know, hoping this is a game of Avalon, and he's just identified that he's MHT right. is bad. Yeah, oh. he's... I mean, this is like this is like that game of Avalon, and it's just like, like, who was it? Um... I forget who was it, who it was yeah. that was out as red, like immediately. But yeah. So, I mean, the last game of Avalon I watched, I, I watched Hayes be completely convinced, completely incorrectly of who was red. So that was great. That was a great, like, that, that was the fact uh, that Carl, fairly amusing. The fact that Carl, the entire game was just like, my entire goal is I'm blue, but I want to mess with Hayes. Yeah. Was the chef's so, kiss i i did enjoy watching like i was gonna pick these two because we know they're blue i was like i know they're not <laughs> and so, yeah this Harrison is who was just like no 
they're red. Oh, well, thank you, Merlin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hayes was uh, not. He was not happy, but at the same time, I think he was because he knew, right, realized it was kind of a good game. Yeah. No, it definitely was. That's one of those things that, again, and I talk about this all the time. If you can get to live events, if you can get to big events, come out and play. Yeah. Like, even if you don't know us, you don't know people, like, you know me and Dan from watching us on stream and, you know, think we're mildly entertaining and you want to meet us, like, come out and meet us and show up. You will have a blast. And live Star Wars is still the best way to go. So, yeah. Worse well, is down 25 power right that's now. That's it? 25. Just 25. Just 25? Yeah. That's... That's, that's a, a pittance. Oh, there's a sabotage. And it's a Destiny 5, uh, so pretty sure... Tarkin's Tark hit. Yeah, Tarkin's going to be hit. Hera. I'm a little surprised he went for Tarkin instead of uh, Trey and Ponda. I, I just don't think it matters. <laughs> it's more they're the same forfeit and Trey and Ponda are one, one tick easier to hit. I think you're right. It's probably sort of a, oh, well. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's my purse. I don't know you. That's probably what Chris is saying right here. That might be the Gick. I was like, I don't know you! And Gick out of it, but like, yeah, there's not much else he the, can do. Yeah, I mean, swinging at the Endor Commando team, probably the right thing. I mean, I wouldn't have mind swinging at Luke either. Yeah, I... Just to make sure that Luke doesn't stick around. I don't but... think it matters. There's a... Well, it's a one Ball. Of, now he can cancel. Yeah, he take can it into cancel hand. that. Take it back in the hand, which is what he's going to do. Yeah, I mean that's, that's four malls that he's playing. Oh he yeah, has, it's he a, has, he it's, has a five, so that should. It, well, he needs a. He hits. Well, that'll the, get yeah, there. he hits the commando team. So I mean that takes away eight in power. Yeah. So now he's only down seventeen power. Yeah, Chris is on the, work, the good side. <laughs> he's getting there. Yeah, I have faith. No, in now this. he's only down 15. This is... Yeah, so he's down by 15, and hey, Mara covers he's 7, and Drain Ponda covers 6. Forfeit. Yeah, he's got 13, so he's only losing 2. You were talking about needing the Gick? What is wrong with you? Well, but Leia's going to add a Destiny to power here. Yeah. And does Baze make him forfeit 0? He probably yeah, he does. does. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now we're back to... Uh, uh, he, now he needs the kick again. <laughs> he needs that purse. This is <laughs> this is not going to end well for Chris, unfortunately. So honestly, even with the gick, this is not going to end well for Chris. Yep, there's like, this. There's is, the, uh, you called that. Yeah, yeah. I, the, you're, you're already overwhelming in power. You don't care about the attrition draw. You just no. say, all right, let's go. And I think you take a card off sand simply because... Wow, Matt, the is, projection. Matt is 100% yeah. listening to you. Or he's just a really Why would he player. do that? Like, I think it's more, I'm blind squirrel, finds a nut every once in a while, like, call something right. Like, that's kind of what we got I going mean, on it, here. It does help the fact that we've been doing commentary for uh, over a year now, so. Yeah. Which means every once in a while I get one right. Yeah. So, and Matt, I, mean, I think is honestly kind of cycling right his hand here. I don't know. I'm down the basement. Where do you belong? <laughs> I don't think so, because it wasn't a full moon on Friday, because I was up late on Friday and outside when it was dark out, and it wasn't a full moon. So. Well, I mean, my question to you is, why are you up late on Friday? Isn't your bedtime at like 7.30? Yes, but I went to see a punk rock show, and the headliners didn't even start until 9-something. So. Wow, that's way past your bedtime. I took some Advil and drank an energy drink. Yeah, that's still way on the way there. Time. Yes, <laughs> Carl, that was just rude. I mean, to be <laughs> fair though, Carl, the last stream that we did together, he sang. Can it get any worse than that? Yeah, and MHT is just going Toy. all in on. Look, I'm gonna. Yeah, it, it's... I'm gonna maximize everything, which just makes a lot well, of sense. Yeah, it does make a lot of sense. But I mean, right now he's up by twenty six. No, I think it's there's no reason to And he's gonna retrieve not from do everything that too. correctly. So I mean he's got he's yeah. able to go over and be like, hey, guess what? No last yeah. that, Now he's gonna lose a card here. 
he's going to lose a card from attrition. Yeah, he, that he's fine. He doesn't care about losing a card to attrition. Like, yeah, that's just a card he can theoretically retrieve next turn. So, so we got thirty-three to twelve. Here comes Chris's draw is probably going to be a two. Oh, that's a four. four. All right, thirty-three so, to sixteen. So it's Mara 17. and ten. Mara and ten. Yeah. It's or Mara and Gick. Let's find out. Uh, uh, Leia okay. B going to the lost pile. Uh, oh no, she's not going to the lost pile because she goes right back into the use pile with Commander uh, Willard. Once per game, good no. lord. MHT is just every single salt wound. Yeah, tax. Well, I mean, he's just he's doing everything he's right. Doing everything he should be doing. And there goes Mara. There goes, goes Dray and Ponda. Yeah. There goes Tarkin. I gotta imagine there's nope, a kick he's here. Peeling. No. He peeled. Oh. There goes one, two, th so Darth Maul, Sith Fury, Newt Gunray, Squabbling, We Must Accelerate, Jas Pure, Toonbuck Tora, We Must Accelerate, Severed Hover Cam, and another Squabbling Delicates. Wow. Ouch time. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Um, I mean, at this point, I think if you're Chris, you just Activate, you drain for a total of three because there I, is no. You yeah. can drain at the Senate. There's no. There's no simple tricks out. Yeah, there's no simple tricks yet. I mean, he might have like a <laughs> way to play it. Leia's going to go to the Senate next turn. That. And do what? Vote for. Battle uh, Destiny. I was going to say try and uh, vote down a trade bill. Draw Battle Destiny, retrieve a guy. Like. Uh, that's yeah. so I, I think I don't know Chris is uh, not in the position he wants to be in here no and, and that's what it comes down to unfortunately like and, and honestly I wouldn't even necessarily fault him just saying alright I'm going to draw up take the loss by 28 and see if I can come back like you just but, go I game mean, two and you just got to go trying to win by 30 is so hard. Like, I don't know yeah. what his light side is, but you've got to, that becomes the just take ultra aggressive lines and hope. Yeah. You get there. And, and that just feels again, just feels rough. As we see an emperor's personal shuttle go down to Scarif. There's the emperor. Okay. But I mean, again, there's a card on sand already, or there's still a card on and, sand. Although there's nothing Ablek. in lot and there's Ablek, like so, but so you're drawing three, but again, there's still a card on sand. Yeah, you're just I don't know. I mean, I think Chris is just keeping it entertaining at this point. Like, I mean, that's what he just said like five minutes ago. It was like this is gonna be entertaining for the stream. Yeah, like drawing up would have been boring. I mean, it might not have been. I'm not sure it would have been the. Wouldn't have been a terrible choice. Like, worst case scenario, MHT gets one more card back. Yeah. And there's really not much that's happening here at all. No. So this is just a... The Senate deck just started a turn too slow. Yeah, which is a little funny considering the first turn that, uh, that Chris had. But you know what? When it comes down to it, there's only one person we can all blame. Harpster. There's a lot of people we can blame, but no, I, we're I can blame see Harpster. that. I mean, Sam, I don't know if he gets a monster drain through. Like, you're looking at up in space. It's, he's down a bunch yeah, of he's power. Down like, by eleven before destiny. Yeah, he's getting he's losing three. four here. Yeah, he's I mean, getting one because of sand. That's what I was going to say. The sa so sand is still there, as we see Orn Frita go lost from the used. Ed Soul from hand, Yeb Yeb off the top. So again, all pretty good senators, all going lost. Yeah, I mean all. I mean, yeah, the the power the difference there is going to be brutal. Mall. I mean, Especially you're down by eleven. If MHT's so, got another pilot or two to throw on there. Yeah, and that's what it comes down to is like if he's got something like Hunching the Falcon here. Oof. Oh, yeah, that would just be. 
that that would just be insult to injury at this point. Yeah, and exactly. I think and if he's got, got it from his hand, like, so it, it's. Yeah. Um, Blake. Uh, so he's had Matt two... lost two cards total. Oh gosh, his starting interrupt. Well, he and... lost. Technically, he did lose Leia. Leia, but and re... that's it. He retrieved Leia with. No, he didn't retrieve. Or sent Leia to used with uh, Vanden Willard. He retrieved and another he card. Re retrieved the the uh, the Endor. heading for the Med Frigate with ten men. Yeah, and he had the Endor Commando team. He retrieved that with placing Walkling out of play. Yeah, so it, it's yeah, it, it's just a means of basically Chris has not drained at all. Yeah, and so there's a there gold hasn't... leader. Yeah, there's a gold leader and gold one coming down. So even if he wanted, he doesn't even have to take a card off of sand now because Chris only has one card left in his force pile. Honestly, I think you still do simply because Chris is going to pay one to draw that one, and if it's a senator, it's still a high destiny. So oh. you use sand to make him draw the one. Still, I mean, you're down by fifty. He's down by fifteen. Yeah. Which is that's the Applic plus Palpatine covers most yeah, of that. And I understand that, but like And then you get at least one chance at a, you know Pyrrhic victory of I will <laughs> lose one to drain for three with Maul. As we see Saw go down to the blockade flagship. I mean I would have sent him down to Tatooine. I don't think it matters where you send it him. You throw like, him down. Yeah. If you throw him at Tatooine, there's at least a chance Maul can walk over and do something like yeah, this is just Matt, Matt. just says, I'm not getting anything back. This is just, <laughs> Abby, that's just rude. This is bit, Matt yeah. playing this exactly the way he should, which is end the game quickly and maximize differential. Yeah, and this you're, not, is, Matt, you're not wrong. It, it's, it's rude in the sense of it feels like piling on, and I'm sure, you know, if Chris ever watches this, because he feels like hating himself, you know, all her talk isn't going to help. But like, MHC is not doing anything that he shouldn't be doing in a match play environment. Yeah, and that's what this it comes is down a to. absolutely maximize everything you can do and knock out as much as you can. Hey, uh, Chris just you got one back him. with that. Yeah, he got one back. Oh boy. Um. Again, I wouldn't hate taking a card off sand simply because it does again put another card in hand he can do something with i mean i get that i don't think it matters uh, yeah like, that's what i'm saying is i don't think it matters especially because like i said he's only getting one he's got so much forfeit up there like yeah this is i mean he's he's got so much forfeit he's up by 15 in power like i, I just don't think you need to and yeah, yeah i mean Chris is going to have, he's going to turn off Menace Fades for one turn, but. Maybe. Like, again, if you take a card off Sand and, you know, Chris draws one of his Senators, all right, so. Yeah. MHT does not do take a card off Sand. He only draws a two for Battle Destiny. Oh. And Chris is going to subtract three from the. Yeah. So it's a zero. Subtract three from that. So it's a zero, which would get one more reason to. Yeah. Make it. I mean, it turns it into a one. Because it drops the destiny from zero, two to yeah, zero, Ray. and then Ray adds one to the total, and then Chris draws a five. So like, yeah, Chris yeah. is down eleven. 11. That's Which is, technically it's uh, the Emperor in two. If you really want to get I mean, down it's to the it, the Emperor and Applek. Like you're yeah, and that's Matt all you just can do. Loses Ray, which I think is the right play. Yeah, I mean. It didn't really matter. Ray yeah. or the Tanev is the play. Like, and it, I don't think it matters I at mean, all. At, at the same time, though, Chris could, yep, and it looks like and Chris, Chris is, is Chris instead, is he's going to just peel and minimize because Matt's got the cards in hand. So Matt is going to, oh, never mind. Chris just lost two and then Palpatine. I'm. Okay. All right. Uh, I mean, um, he is going to drain for... He'll drain for four. Three. Four. Three and one. Uh, There's no reason not to drain at the Senate. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. And that's going to cause a point of extra... That's going to make Matt lose a card from his life force. Yep. 
which is again, if Matt would have taken a card off Sand, he wouldn't. Yeah, that's that's fair. That is one. Say, all right. Fair. Well, we're I'm gonna stick with Matt made a mistake, and you and I saw a better play line. Uh, don't bring me into this. <laughs> I get the meanest message from Matt. Like, how dare you? <laughs> Yeah, there's a reason why he's playing in the top four and you're sitting at home in your basement wearing an Expos cap. I'm commentating on the top four. Yeah. So, yeah, no, we're, we're fully in agreement. This game is all but over. I think, honestly, I think Chris is going to drain. I think Chris is going to drain. I think he's going to play li- limited resources and it's going to be game. <laughs> if he's got limited resources. And then he's going to draw up. If he's got the limited resources here, good for him. That would be awesome, and I would be so happy. Yeah, as we see. But like with Senate, where you're stripping cards from hand, why like not? That that's again such yeah. an amazing card. Yeah, as we see, there goes. But yeah, this Bridger. is a drain and draw. Up. There's nothing else you're gonna do here. I mean, he did take a card with Lot Dodd. Yeah, that's so just. You could theoretically put another Emperor onto the shuttle just to reinforce it. But, but you're getting drained. You're losing. Well, it's four one, of your six two, cards next turn. Three, one, two, three, four, five. Or five of your six. Yeah, like yeah. All right. Well, Chris just likes to. Well, here's the thing. Like, if Chris can keep the shuttle up there, he can then drain. Yeah, I guess. For two, but, because he well, can't afford to lose for two, one. Duck. Yeah, because he couldn't lose a card with the. Well, he can. Uh, can he, he can get back. Uh, he can get Toonbuck back. Well, he would have to deploy uh, Toonbuck. No, he can use oh, the yeah, objective to wipe him. Yeah. So he'd have two cards left, I guess. Yeah. Like. And I, I think that's what he's going to have to do, and then drain for yeah. four again. Make Matt go down to twenty three. I mean, 23 yeah. does feel a little bit better than 28. Yeah. I mean, if he can get a few more cards lost, that's, that feels a little bit better. But yeah, this game is is over. It's just if Chris has yeah anything to do, any more damage, like maybe a limited resources for four. I'm, I'm all in on this train. Everybody's heard me talk about this in every match play event. Nobody likes to play Ever. limited resources. Oh, wait, you know what? I can't say that because I did get to play in limited resources at Worlds. I love playing limited resources feels so good. Yeah. I mean, I lo- ended up losing the game, but still f- play. I think I won just because I played limited resources on Amal. Yeah. Like being able to play limited resources just feels good. Yeah. You're not wrong. Like when you can hit it and just, the, yeah. like Chris, I said, it's. Chris, play the limited resources. Let's see it. Come on. You know, you even to. if you're losing, it's just like, here's four force. Yeah. Like in a match play scenario, like that's good. So we'll see where, so where this goes. Uh, I think Chris might beach. just be. Or it's, I'm sorry. It's one at the bridge, three at the beach. And then one from Stardust. Some of us. So it's four of his, it's five of his six force right now. Who I has assume done he's going to. Wait, hold on. Time out. Bill is saying in the chat that some of us have done it three times on camera. I want to know. Oh, yeah, he's right. It is two at the yeah, bridge because right. of Saw. Yeah. But I want to know where Bill has played limited resources three times on camera. Uh, he did it. That's what, the what, important uh, thing that I'm asking about right now. What what event was that The uh, that we... Is Didn't he do it at uh, Continentals? I don't know. There's like 50 events. Yeah, I think he did it at least once at Continentals. So in the in the top eight stream against yeah, so Jin cool. makes the drain plus one. We know the drain is three. Yeah, at we the know beach. the drain is three at the beach. We missed yeah, the saw, saw prevents the saw reduction. Pre- re- re- yeah, so saw gets around it being uh, one so, at the the bridge. That's all six of Worf's cards. Like Matt needs to do nothing. Are we talking Frodo is in Frodo light or? F- I mean, if you watch the two towers, which B. Fred has watched many a time, and he has his own copy now. Frodo was on camera a lot. Yeah, B. Fred has a special copy of uh, two towers. He he does. Frodo's been on camera. I mean, 
he was on, I think, at least one of the games for when he did the uh, yeah the New Year's Eve event, the the Beezer Bash, and he's been the, on the Beezer Bowl. Beezer Bowl. Um, I. Th- think so i'm just i honestly don't remember it doesn't matter because you're mo- i guess you use that yeah to you can use this to move it to the to pull one more card you, out no, of use well no or, you what you do is you you uh, throw a rebel out of play move the objective so you move Jin over to the the data vaults drain for two yeah. there well it's you move anyone just to move get rid of one card in lost yeah again just maximizing the thing i mean yeah you don't need to blake we're in agreement there it's just a how do you maximize your differential and what you want to have done here? And no, the, the teammate, the commando squad it was retrieved with Walklink. Yeah. He, the only thing yeah. would be if he I, lost one to the drains. That, that's what I was thinking. But, I mean, I still think you would do it just I mean, yeah, it really, yes, no, like, it doesn't matter because the drain, of three, not... the drain of three here is going to end it. No, I think he's. I don't think he's going to drain. I think he's going to battle. You battle. You take the card off sand. You retrieve when you draw the battle destiny. If it's a, if it's a, rebel, doesn't matter. You you take that shot because you drop him down to. Oh, Ezra's there. Oh, Ezra's in there. Okay. So you drain. Say, there otherwise, you one. just battle. Yeah. Now, because I mean, it doesn't really. Matter. No, you drain there for one. Worfs has to lose it from hand, or else he's not going to have any destiny to draw. Yeah. But, like, if you battle, you give Worfs a chance to at least drain you for more. Yeah, and that's what I I'm think saying. You just like, I just think out. you just draw. I think you just drain him here. And I think Matt might be trying to do that math real quick and be like, can I, is this better to do can it I this ma- way? Yeah. I mean, he did just get rid of a card in his lost pile, which still feels good. Yeah, I mean, he's up 14 in power, but Applek plus Palpatine does have a bunch of forfeit. Uh, I want to say they cover 14. I think 16. It's, aren't they 9 and 7 or 9 and 6? So 15. It's 9, 6, 15. But, yeah, so. I mean, at that point, though. Kind of feel bad Chris didn't. That last card in his hand was Sense. Kind of feel bad Matt didn't play an interrupt just so Chris could have gone out in a blaze of glory. Like, I'm going to sense that. I got it. Now I lose. Like, that, that would have been, been the way to... That would have been funny. I would have, that, I would admit that would have been kind of funny. That would have been the way to go out. But because... I think, yeah, Matt's just literally... you got to be thinking he is just doing the math in his head. It's... Yeah. You see, like, what he's thinking about, like, what the cards are in Worf's deck... You know, what are the cards in his deck if he has a chance to retrieve? You know, I don't he, think it matters. There's no way Werfs is doing anything. Like, all that can happen next turn is Werfs can drain for four. Um, and there's no point in giving up that drain. Yeah. And Matt just says, you know what? Yeah. Forget that. Let's just end so it. So Matt wins by yeah. 27. Ooh. 27, four to With 39. Four and lost. And th- okay, so. I'm writing this all down like I'm going to need to refer back to it. I'll be honest. Uh, this is MHT. Chris needs a huge win. I don't know what Chris picked for uh, light side. He needs something to go real hard. So let's oh. see. They're talking in chat right now to see if we're going to do the second one tonight or if it's going to be in a couple days. I mean, this game went pretty quick. I could see them. Yeah, I I, I, I agree with you. And, and, and honestly, Chris just says, time, let's, let's start it. And he may just say, yeah. I can't and that's what it comes down to. I on. think it just comes down to like what they want to do matchup wise. So let's go ahead. Oh, okay. So they're just saying what the matchup is. We know that oh, apparently uh, Matt Harrison trainer is on rot small. Okay. And uh, I just close that. So I don't know what, uh, yeah, Rotsmall they're still chatting. What did, what did Chris say? He's on there. Chris has not said what he's on, but okay. Okay. Chris has said, let's play. All right. Well, so, more star Wars is always good. Star Wars. Uh, so good. I like that. Uh, that I like that. that let's see what happens. Just, I think let's go. Worf's is. So hobby says Worf's is zero hour. 
Oh. If She's got a case, chance. I mean, as, I mean, I, I feel 20, like. 28 force is still a lot of It's force. a lot. And I'll be honest, I don't think Zero Hour can get there because of how quick Rot Small can be. But yeah, and at again, the same it, time, it really does depend on, like, say, if Worfs can go catch a Lord Maul with lightsaber, kind of, like, the problem is there's so much evasion in Rot's Maul between barriers, between stunning leaders. And you're playing it very differently when your goal is not to win, but just to just lose to... by 26. I don't think you even go to... Lothal. I don't either. I just, don't, all right, I, I'm just going to drain either. on... I'll, I'll go to Tatooine. I'll drain everything I can and turn it into a drain race that I'm inevitably going to lose. And, but and that's what it comes zero down hours to. got to is... put enough cards out to keep things interesting. Yeah. Chris is going to have to put down at least half of his deck to make this interesting and to protect himself. Yeah, and... I mean, he does have. I mean, the fact that he is playing Ahsoka's, who are ridiculously good, Sabine, who is also immune to permanent weapons, which is the majority of what the weapons are in Rot's Va Rot's Mall. That's why it, I think that Zero has a slight bonus or a slight advantage to Rot's Mall. I agree. I think Chris is advantaged in this matchup. I think Chris can win this game. So do I. I However, just don't know if he can win it by 28. <laughs> like, um, th yeah, that's no, the... I mean, if Chris is able to pull this out, this would literally be one of the most epic comeback stories ever. This would be on par. And I know, you know, this would be like, he's not necessarily everyone's ice. favorite person, but this would be on par with the Mike Raveling over Brian Hunter at the first Minnesota Worlds, where he was down 35. In the top eight, and won by thirty six. I mean, this would be like an all time advance. comeback story, no matter what the 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 situation is. Yeah, the, this would be an insane, a, an insane win, and at that point, you just got to be like, all right, well, Chris is due. Like, I I don't even think I'd pick. You know, I'd feel bad for B friend at that point. It's like you're just not going to get there. Like. Yeah, and if that happens, I think B Fred would be okay with it. Like just saying, okay, you know, this is like this is insane play, like an insane comeback by Chris, who's a really good player. Uh, sure, we'll play it, but I don't expect to do well. <laughs> but so. we'll see what happens. I mean, it looks like Worf has already posted the game, so once we yep. get back to the action uh we'll have it we uh like i said we already know who the winner of this match will be playing it, it is going to be mr brian fred so again once we have that game scheduled we'll make sure to let everybody know uh again follow along on twitter twitch uh slack the forums that way you can find out when the game will be played so yep here we go matt harrison trainer right. versus chris Wirfs, round two fight Yep. So it is zero hour versus Rot Small. So thank you, Hobby, for that little bit of tip, a uh, little bit of uh, information that gave us. And like, I do. I think we're in agreement that like zero hour is advantaged in this matchup. But yeah, advantaged is a whole lot different than wins by twenty eight. Like th this is. Yeah. I think Chris is going to have to take this a very aggressive line. And, and that's what I'm saying is like I don't know if zero hour has that possibility. Because it, again, it the problem with zero hour is it's to me at least the way that I play my zero hour. Uh, I know that uh, Timo Duso plays his completely different. Mine is more of a I'm going to control and try and do and try to mitigate the damage as much as I can. And it looks kind of like what that's what Chris is playing is the more the control yeah, one. He's not running the draw their fire combo. Yeah, which was, was the that would give him a second out for a huge win is just a get a first strike you know a draw their fire combo battle into killing mm -hmm. everything yeah and, and i know timo has gone on and said that like the draw their fire allows him to play stuff like the neighboring leads so he plays multiple neighboring leads he can move it bounce between the battles as he so uh, chooses and 
again, the the big engine of the de the deck is Ahsoka because having her, if you can sit her essentially in the middle of your Lothal locations, and, and you just have move. multiple, like say you have Sabine on one end, Ezra on the other, she can bounce between either of them during the deploy phase, and it's just so good. I, I will say, I think the damage mitigation side doesn't bode well for Chris in terms of winning big. I'll agree with you like there. That, that, that's one of the things Timo's deck can absolutely do is just a oh, you left that guy alone? Alright, well, you know, let, like, Matt's going to probably play this. I, the thing is, Matt's not going to play this super aggressive. Like, no, Matt's he has be no reason very, to. Very conservative with his plays here. So he's not going to run into the like, oh, you left Hondo alone? Well, here's Chopper and seven guys mm -hmm. and GG. Yeah, and like, I, I think you're 100% right. Like, Matt's going to play this. I, I don't see him playing it as loose as he played the last game. I agree. I think he played last game super loose because he had to. Yeah, and then once he got... Like he that first turn he had to play loose and hope and like I got a note from a teammate saying that he fundamentally disagreed with me saying I don't love no idea in match play and I think it might just be maybe a miscommunication like Matt no idea is a very good deck at no point did I say I don't think no idea is a good deck and it does a lot of really good things it's just it doesn't win by a lot. Well, and in match I'm, play, winning by say, a lot is nice. So, I mean, what do you define a lot? Because to me, in a sixty card <laughs> deck, when you have when you win by twenty seven, that feels like a lot. But no idea does not traditionally win by twenty seven. Like that was a uh, that very was a, much an outlier. Well, match. I'm not disagreeing with you, but you said it doesn't have the opportunity to win by a lot, and Matt just proved you wrong. So, how do you how does that make All you right, feel? Fine. Matt's proved me wrong lots of times. This is yeah, not gonna... I know. Matt's proven a lot of people lot wrong a lot of times. It ain't going to be the first time. It ain't going to be the last. So. Yeah, as we see Matt deploys the audience chamber, the droid workshop. There's the something special planned for them, as well as Rendley. So, I mean, Matt's getting Matt's what he Matt's just getting needs. good hands. Yeah, he's... Well, I mean, he got... I mean, there's something special he got with... Uh, the only thing uh, that he... Well, points. Yeah. Yeah, and honestly, the only card that he did not have, the only card he had in his hand to start with was the audience chamber. And, and I honestly, think I think he's okay with that. Well, yeah, because again, this rot small does not care how many icons you're giving your opponent. It's yeah, I'm gonna give myself a lot of icons. You might have a lot of icons too, but guess what? My he maybe cards didn't are better have a yours. mall. Or is he gonna just try and go to Lothal? You like... gotta think he's gonna try and go to Lothal. Like, Maul is yeah. so much better on Lothal than he is on Tatooine. If you're trying to win the game, yes. If you're trying just to... Or he could not have activated... Minimize differential. Like, like it, it's much more likely he just didn't have a Maul in hand, because I think if you're... Yeah, I'll If you have a Lord Maul, you just go Lord Maul to Jabba's Palace, start draining for two, and just, you know, yep. Worf's... Worf's has 15 cards in his deck he can lose before he can't win the match yeah I, I agree like that's just such a anything you can aggressively force him to lose force on you're doing it right now yeah i, I will 100 percent agree with you i also think that one thing uh i mean i think worse should have looked with the insurrection first instead of the objective because to say if you get out the capital city being that it's a 2-2 you don't necessarily want that site out first you want either you want the the tarkin town out first because it is a drain minus one location if unless tarkin's there and then you yeah want but the you don't you don't care what you're putting down right now because you just need at this point what you need is mht to deploy into you and get that huge beat down in yeah, or you need to I get agree. your sights out and go for the immediate flip right now. And, like, I don't think you can do that. Like, maybe if you've got Kanan. No, no you, you really can't. Even if you have Kanan, you really can't. Yeah, like, he didn't grab this as our ship, so. Uh, no, Harpster. This is match number two. Uh, 
MHT ended up winning game one by 27. Oh. So he does, so he must not have had the opening hand cannon, but he does use this as my ship. So Chris is playing this aggressively. I mean, I don't mind. I, I actually like the using this as my ship to deploy Hera and the Ghost because the two ships that this Ross Maul is going to run are Boa Fett and ship and Zuckus and ship. Yeah. Uh, first of all, Chris, or I'm sorry, Harpster language. This is a kids friendly show. <laughs> Second of all, uh, he played. He played Dark Side Senate. Yeah, he played Dark Side Senate. MHT got an extremely good start with yeah. no idea and basically just shut him down early and yeah, agree. started doing a bunch of damage real early that he didn't have a real good answer for. Yeah. Like, so, so. What, what happened was so Chris was able to use. His, his He was able to put out Maul first turn with the lightsaber, go to the cantina, set up that drain of four. However, Matt Harrison Trainer got out Jin, Leia, the Leia's resistance transport, transport to get out Ray, pulled a car from the use pile, also got out the sand effect, and had Menace Fades in his hand. And he just backed up everybody. Like he put Ray and Leia to the beach had menace fades going so he was essentially doing five points of damage to chris doing chris would have to pay three to drain for two at the cantina considering that the menace phase was in effect so it just went chris from... took a deck that had a real high ceiling but potentially a real low floor mm -hmm. and he found the floor yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, it's there's not a nice way to say it like that. That was just a, it was an unfortunate matchup where Mac got everything he needed right away, and Chris did not have an answer. No, for and, that, and that was going to be a struggle. Like I, I still think it. If MHT doesn't get the menace fades, it's a slightly different game. <laughs> And honestly, I think if Chris would have gone Maul to the Data Vault and at least tried to do something, it might have been a yeah. But I mean, different I think game. Chris's like I don't game, know that that's a great play either. Yeah, and MHT, and I don't like this from MHT. If you're Chris, you don't like him putting uh, playing the Force Push here because he already knows what's in his reserve deck. So now he's looking he's, at. He's pulling. He's going after the ghost. Zuck, you got to think he's got Zuckus and Mist Hunter at this point. And that's, I think you've got Zuckus and Mist Hunter, a Barrier Canceler, and Applek. Uh, the, that's the thing, though. I mean, I don't think that this Ross Small plays a lot of Barrier Cancelers in the deck. Because you got to assume Chris is, I mean, Chris might have been bluffing, but you got to count on Barrier. You do. I, I agree 100%. I that mean, you have to think about the Barrier here. As Chris and there does is have the barrier. it, yeah, and I think that's a card that I would consider grabbing if you're Matt. Yeah, and he does. And he I does. mean, Matt has two grabbers, so, so yeah, it's getting I, I grabbed think, no matter so what. So the cards to grab in this matchup are if Chris is playing Dodge. Dodge is definitely one. Or actually, no, Narrow Escape is one. Uh, barriers two, uh, and I'm wondering if Chris is playing stuff like the Hujix combo. Yeah, I mean, that would I mean, give that him would a be... battle destiny with the ghost that he would otherwise be yeah. stuck with. Now, does... It adds, I mean, so he would still would be a destiny of zero, but he needs to get the ability, yeah. yeah so, and... so the question is, does MHT follow up right here with... Nope, he doesn't follow up with the Boba Fett. That would have been my, if he had the opening, like, fine, you barrier well, by Zuckus, here's Fett. But the problem with Fett is he can't hold anybody, so if... Chris was able to draw greater than a five. That makes Boba Fett go lost. How's Chris drawing though? I'm saying if he's able to draw. Yeah. And he like, saved, that's the thing he is, saved four force. That tells me he might have uh, maybe one of the barrier. reacting A-wings. Or a second barrier. Or a second barrier. Yeah. Like he may have had an answer. And MHT just says, you know, what? I'm just going to throw Applic up here and make you do something. Yeah. Um, I'll be honest, I did, if he force pushed there to get Zuckus to make that play without an answer for Barrier, I think that was a mistake. I, I agree. But again, being like, that he's up by 27 at this point, I think he, he's he could, allowed to make some mistakes like that. Agreed. And, I, and you and I have talked about this kind of in the past. I think force push 
at its core using that, you know, go fetch a card. That needs to be the this swings this game card. Yeah, I, I will agree with you on that. Honestly, and... like I've learned that force push just to push yourself out of a battle is sort of a bad situation is sometimes even better than searching for a card. I think it's nine times out of ten, I would rather be force pushing out of a battle, especially after I swing at a couple guys, mm -hmm. than going and searching for one card. Like that one card, if I'm going to do it, it needs to be the yeah, end the game, it, it needs... break the game open kind of card. It's not just yeah. a, oh, I'll go get something that'd be nice to have. Like, it's, you don't use it to go get Forlock. You're using it to go get Blast the Door Kids so you can ignore Barrier yeah, and I, I, blow I, up the I ghost. won't disagree with you there. Like, First Strike is one that I'm always, if I'm playing this deck yeah. or, like, another high like uh, deck, like, say, Hunt Down, I'm looking for First Strike because that is a card that can potentially end the game. Lateral Damage is another card that I'm looking for just because it is so impactful at certain times. Yep. But yeah, I, there, there are cards that are super impactful. I we didn't see that here. Now, Worfs gets the flip. He doesn't get another sight out. He's just no. And I think not getting another sight is actually the the best thing to do here. Makes it harder to flip him back. It, yeah, it makes him harder to flip him back, and because you can always throw a Phoenix Squadron character on Tatooine and still get the plus. Yeah, and I think that's what he's doing here is he's going, yep, there's Wedge. So now he has ability of five up there. Yeah, he still doesn't have enough ability up there. That's my concern with Wedge right now. Yeah, and I mean, Wedge is, has a forfeit of seven. He's subtracting three from whatever. He can subtract three from whatever Matt plays. And I Okay, so he moves Wedge to the passenger, which tells me that he's pulling somebody else up there. Maybe Anakin. Up, oh, corn horn. Corn. Okay, corn horn I like really that. well because now he gets he gets two destiny as well. Yeah, I, I like corn up there. He gets two destiny. He can choose to add and just wipe Zuckus and Mist Hunter and count on. Well, I'll just lose um, Wedge for forfeit. I mean. At the same time, You're two the, destiny plus three, yeah, you only need to get a total of eight. Like well, you don't yeah. necessarily even have to add. You don't necessarily have to add, and that's what it comes down to. I think subtracting might be the better play, just because it is for or me into electrician less than five. So you want to make sure that it sticks around. It depends a lot on what you draw, and I think less on what MHT draws. True. Like if you draw enough to clear Applic and Zuckus, that's the play. And you just say, okay. Yeah. If you I, I don't, agree with you. but you can add three and do it. I think you've got to make him lose it, make him job as Haven right away. Like, I wouldn't even necessarily hate seeing uh, simple tricks get well, thrown he, Yeah, down. he's going to have to do it before he draws Destiny. Yeah. He, he would have right done it Enders. earlier because he would have stopped MHT from retrieving the force push as well. Yeah. So that, that's Chris a good might point. not have. Yeah. I mean, the Force Push doesn't do too much, but it is a Destiny of 5 at this point. They're just floating it's around. It's a in your card. Deck. It's a card. It, it, it's a Destiny 5, which is good. And it's it's a card. Like, Chris needs to make every card go away as quickly Ooh. as possible. That's not what he wanted to draw. No, he does not want to see that. Now, I mean, okay. But well, however, Hera is allowing him Hera to cancel and redraw, the, which is good. That, that's a solid. Okay. See my last comment. Yeah. Uh, does he have a, another way to cancel it? Like Jedi Jedi he does. Ooh, he does All have right. it. Uh, I'm wondering if he has the third way to cancel and uh, cause uh, cancel and redraw destiny. I'm just waiting. Per my previous email, this uh, is... does he have the you? Uh, you may double you. We you do have your moments. Does he have the you do have your he moments? He no. does not. So he does get to five, which means it's at black. So he you add three. I think you add could three. Could add the three in hopes that. But the thing is, like I said, you're hoping that Chris does not draw high enough. Yeah, because, but he's got. Yep, he is going to add three. Yeah, and but the thing is, like, you, if he can, he's going to use the job as Haven to get. That's the fine. If he's, he's going to use that, it to get Zuckus. 
And if he draws high That's enough, fine. barrier. Yeah, he draws a four, but now he has another destiny. Okay, it's so that's three. just wet. That's wedge. just wet. That is just so wet. He's lucky. Very happy right now. Because if he would have drew one higher, that's wedge and corn horn, and then we see Zuckus come right back down on Hera. Yeah. I mean, he could have another barrier. Like, there's answers he has, but that ended. I mean, drawing three ones in a row is definitely not what Chris wanted no, to have happen. Not at all. But that was otherwise a about as good as it could have gone for Chris. Yeah, and I will agree with you. You know, and honestly, I wouldn't even hate him just popping Walkling to retrieve Wedge no. right now. No, I don't think you need to. You don't think so? Mm -mm. I mean, you can pull Wedge just to throw him down somewhere. So, which is... And the reason I don't think you necessarily need to, you got to get... So you, with this... With this deck, one, we saw that he's playing Weather Vane. So he has some retrieval in there, which is good. Yeah. Uh, two, the ability maybe that's to... you save Walkling for Weather Vane in case you... Well, there's that. And then you also want to have it for the Unita. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm not saying he is playing Unita, but I'm assuming that he is playing Unita. And he did save three, which does sort of scream... I might be running it. It could also be a I'm threatening barrier. Yeah, and being that he left Sabine by herself and the Canaan by himself, kind of tells me that he has either some sort of mitigate like um, battle some mitigation sort of there, evasion. battle trick. Yeah. Uh, whether that's like a narrow escape, dodge. I mean, you can't necessarily but, rely on the, uh, narrow escape and dodge just because they both are reacts and sense cancels those. Uh, I wouldn't, if you're worse and you're not playing sense, I would not hate to see the sense shield at this point. And there's the simple tricks. That's, I'm a surprised that MHT did not put the Jabba's, like Snap use Jabba's retrieve. Haven immediately right after that You know, battle. he's got 14 cards in hand. He may have another ship and just but be willing to say, all right. Though. He might only have one ship and that ship is like the goal of, and I think Hayes has said this best about this Rots deck. You're not supposed. You're not trying to beat your opponent in space. You're just trying to survive so you can drain for free. Yeah. And here we go. Here's Sheezer going down in front of Sabine. And she and actually. That was kind of my thought with the you know. And funny enough, she actually gets a destiny if unable to otherwise because of Tarkin Town. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. That's, uh, I wonder if Matt thought of that. Uh, probably not. That's, this is why, you know, you, you as the zero hour expert. I wouldn't say that. You know, we, we're, there's Lord Maul. So yeah, yeah. I mean, she says we're going to go all in on making things go die. And again, being that worse did not put out that other location means that Matt cannot flip Worf's back even if you put somebody down to the Lothal system. I mean, he can if he controls. So He has to control more Lothal locations. He has to control both sites. Yeah, he would have to control both sites, and it's yeah. going to be hard. I mean, he'll take the one with Maul and Gunray. Uh, maybe. you got to assume. Maybe. It's more going to be the other one. It'd be harder. Uh, so the reason I'm saying maybe is Zero Hour has started using cards like Blaster Deflection. So if he's got a Blaster Deflection, a Dodge, anything to stop the swing. You're still giving up two Battle Destiny, though. Yeah, but you again, so, so you can subtract. You can subtract three from one of them, but... Yeah. And, and I, there's Hondo. Hondo. I like the Hondo play. I mean, that puts a little bit more power there. Yeah, I, and it's more, it gives him a forfeit and where he wins, if he wins the battle and forces the Sabine lost, he keeps a body there to flip Chris back. Well, and that's the thing, exactly. And it, so if you're Chris at this point, I'm going to use the dodge to react away with Kanan. And I'm okay with losing the Sabine for right now. Yeah. Because... The bigger thing is that we know that, unfortunately, he has two Ahsokas, and they're both in the deck. I yeah. don't think he has three. 
All right, so we see the battle. So MHT says, nope, I'm going to battle Sabine first. Actually, and I'll be honest, I don't hate that either because if he forces the dodge. Yeah, you, you, you know, yeah. then you battle into Kanan and you're perfectly happy with that chain of events. Yeah, I agree. So. And I think that's what Chris is thinking about right I, now is do I want to use the I will dodge say here? I don't love either she's or hondo being left there because chopper murders yeah. them both chopper is ridiculous chopper murders a lot of people yeah like that that would with be a my concern for, like with a smile as he's doing it and i love it the, the the squeakiest war criminal this side of the galaxy like this is and i honestly think if you're worse, so we're not seeing anything. Worf's just okay. draws a one. No, Matt draws a one. That's Matt draws perfect. one. That's perfect yeah, Matt. is perfectly fine with that. Yeah, because it's ten to six. That's a four. Worf draws a four. I'm I losing two. Lose two. I'm losing yeah. two, and I'm fine. I'm not adding. I'm not subtracting. I'm just losing the two because now yeah. you say that the your objective for where Kanan is. Yeah. Okay. Well. So adding three means you wipe that site on Matt's end. Yeah, and now you have you have the, the and you trick. get the drain, and you don't yeah. need to do anything. Like I'm, yeah, you know I don't what? Hate that's that play that's like again, that's the perfect thing that ha like worse. Those two battles, the last two battles that we have seen from Matt have gone one hundred percent worse's way. And it might just depend on Werfs might not have had the chopper or might have realized that Matt's going to just move him away anyways. Yeah. So because Sabine's alive there, you're not going to just. Matt can't just leave no. She's or, or Hondo there. No. Yep. There's the dodge. There's the dodge to run so, away. Yeah, he had the dodge. And that's what I'm saying. Like he had so many options and just seeing that Sabine was alive after that battle. Yeah. You are so happy. Yeah, that went 100% the way Chris and wanted. here's the issue. Matt can move over in front of Sabine and Kanan, or he's going to take three damage this turn to the drains. Golly, I don't love moving over. Neither do I. I mean, you can't hit Sabine. Kanan's a six. Yeah. Like yeah, I, and I, thought I if I'm worse, and... if I'm worse, so... I'm using Walkling to get the Unita to take that dodge back. Yeah, and then you just move Kanan back there again and say, okay. So Werfs did thing not is, listen once to you us, find, though. Once you find Ahsoka, you can just park her right there and let, yeah. just be like, I'm going to move her and your deploy phase back to where Sabine is every turn. It and that's there. why, as much as I think Matt said, hey, I need to go to Lothal, I need to do this, I think the play was still drop Lord Maul at Jabba's Palace and start draining for two. Yeah, I'm not... Because you don't need to win this game. You just need to only lose by 20. Well, here's the thing, though. Pick. We're, but Chris that's such a weird at, way to Chris play. Chris is sitting at uh, 34 right now. Okay, 36. Or no, uh, I'm sorry, 33. 33 cards, yeah. 33. Like... And, okay, so now he's got Ezra out. Ezra is going to... Yep, he's going to do Kane and things right here. Ezra, fully immune to attrition. I, I mean, and, and the thing is, like we've said, the other characters that you fear right now are Kylo Ren and Mara, and that's pretty much it. And Sidious. Although, without the saber, Sidious isn't terribly that's, scary. That's exactly, exactly. Like... And honestly, and like I said, um, I don't... Mm, okay, now I like what Chris is doing because he's one, he puts a card back, and on top of that, he's playing... He plays for the ultimatum shield. I mean, and... Yeah, he... he I don't think you want to walk into that. No, no, not, not with your pants down. Like, unless no, you have... Here. Unless you have the dodge, which is, again, sitting on top of your reserve... Or your lost pile. And even with the dodge, I think you want the Hoojix. That's why you play two. Yeah. Like, Hoojix is another card I must always... Well, Chris has only got back. six cards. Like, he's got to draw some here. Yeah, and that's the... Again, the problem is... And I, I think if you're Chris, you want to... You've got to find your weather vein as soon as possible. Yeah. And honestly, like... Another and that card, might be why he didn't Unita for... Yeah, yeah. 
Is he sort of hoping to, okay, well, I'll get the... you got to think, if he's playing Unita, he's got Fall of the Legend on V, which is a Destiny 6 card, allows him to, put, to, uh, to go get it. Okay, well, there's see the around, see kid, around really good card. Put a card back, take a card out of your force pile. This tells me that he's going for something specific in his force pile. Yep. That's probably the Weather Vane. Uh, the Weather Vane or the Fall, uh, the fall of the Legend. Yeah. Like, but he's probably also got the This Is Our Rebellions and Ascension Guns. Yeah. He's got a lot of ways to get his destiny real high mm -hmm. and cycle his hand yeah. real aggressively. And he does still, I mean, he's still at 28 he's cards 28 down. with 11 card hand. And so he's basically, his hand is what he can play with right now. Now, there but, is obvious retrieval. But yeah. He's got Walkling. We saw the Weather Vane. Mm-hmm. But the problem is, like, we're going to see Matt. He is going to probably pay to drain for two here. One, because he's to. got a 21-card force pile. And two, you want to do as much damage as you can to get worse under that 27 level. Yeah, and this is... the best way to do that right now is just draining for two. Yeah. And... Honestly, if I'm Matt right now, I think it's pay to drain, drop a guy at Tarkin Town, Jabba's Haven to go get... Zuckus and Mist Hunter back. Throw um, Zuckus and Mist Hunter at Mandalore. And just start trying to cause damage. The other thing that if I'm Matt, I would actually consider using the audience chamber to get out Erica to start retrieving your own stuff. Yep. Make honestly because maybe do that instead of throwing a guy at Tarkin time. Yeah, and honestly, go get if Erica. you're making the game the, the longer this game goes, the better it is for Matt. Agreed. That Matt just needs to cause force loss. If Matt can get an extra turn where he can cause three or four force loss, that's the difference between winning or and losing. You this know match what? I do like, be. and I, I like getting using Jabba's Haven. Go get the Zuckus and Miss Hunter. Throw the Zuckus and Miss Hunter at Mandalore with a drain of two. Yeah. And force Chris to force Chris to, to answer you. what you're doing. Yeah, and that's what it comes down to. I mean, Chris has probably got responses like Leia's resistance transport goes and gets Ray, like, mm -hmm. but you still need another pilot or you're not drawing against yeah. Zuckus. But you are higher power and you just go, all right, well, I'll subtract. Yeah, and I, I, from yours you're, you're and not wrong there. Or Sidious coming down I in front of Ezra. I don't like that because I don't like any of that. Ezra is immune to attrition completely. Yeah, like what? What's uh, your? The only other thing that I can see Matt doing is putting somebody at the Lothal system. Applex fine. I'm. I mean, you're subtracting. You're adding three to the destiny if you're worse. So it's essentially three, seven to three. Yeah, um, like, and here's I would have loved Applex. Honestly, I would have loved Applex to Tarkin Town. Then Zuckus to Lothal to flip Chris back. Yeah. And then you just move. So there's Zuckus to Mandalore. Yeah. And, and like I said, I think that's the like right... Matt's doing some of the things we're talking about, but I don't like that. I, I, yeah. I don't necessarily I don't like, like the putting Aplac. everyone at the comm tower. Yeah. I'm fine with the Applek. I just, I would I have mean... rather seen Sidious and Applek in front of. Kanan and Sabine. Because yeah. you're just kind of counting on drawing high enough to really do a, get a lot of work in there. But I mean, the thing is, like, you're probably going to make Chris lose the Ezra just because. Never mind. Yep, yeah, and that's the card you want to grab if you're you're Matt. Yep. So now Matt can't move it like. I don't think if you're mad, I don't think you can move a guy into no. flip back because then you're leaving someone alone. Well, no, he can't flip him back. Oh, you're right, because he'd still control. Yeah, yeah he can. Also, no, he can't. No, if he moves Lord Maul to Tarkin Town, he flips him back. No, he doesn't. Uh, he yeah, at that yeah, point yeah, controls right. two Lothal right. locations. Yes, but, he does. But then Applet goes away. Unless you no, you that move one just force. Maul, and then you are you not going to save a force? You Are move you not just gonna Maul. A... Maul costs one to move. Yeah. And then you recycle and you pay one to keep Applic alive. And then Newt Gunnery gets the crap beat out of him. 
agree. I didn't say it was the best plan. I said he <laughs> could do it. No, and it looks like Matt just decides that he's going to stick with what he's doing right now. Now, the one good thing for Matt is he did take him off of ultimatum. But it is going to be very easy for Chris to get back ultimatum. Yeah, Chris he will have just, ultimatum back. Yeah, he's, he's got 10 cards in hand ultimatum. and 25 force. Like, somebody's getting jumped here. It's just a question of who and where. Yeah, and honestly, I don't – if I'm Chris, I wouldn't mm. – if he has the space, Zuckus is the jump. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, what space package do you have? Uh, Layers resistance transport. Although he's only got three cards in reserve, the yeah. odds of Ray being there is rough. No, the but best like, the best one would for would be Hanshui the Falcon plus the wild card because they both have immunity. Yeah, like if you can get both of them out, that's a destiny power, and. Heck, if you and honestly, you just need, frankly, just Honchu and the Falcon. No, you need something more than just Honchu and the Falcon because there's no, you don't get any destiny. That's fine. You just subtract from his and you overpower it. Yeah, true. So, Chris instead says, "I can start draining too," and he throws Yoda. Yeah, I, I don't. My, yeah, I like that, and I like Luke going down. The only issue is like, oh no, Sidious cannot exclude because he is not alone. He's not alone. Yeah. Yep, and Kanan up or Cassian up there. Cassian. And again, like the Cassian uh, up there. I like the Cassian up there because guess who's in the lost pile? Wedge. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm fine with Cassian up there. I don't know that he's super impactful. I, I almost uh, sort of prefer I mean, I... Cassian down at Ezra's Roost. Um. Or at, or use him, you know, then you can potentially keep well, someone alive in that battle. You're going to move him to Mandalore. You're not going to let Matt and, drain for two there. Yeah. Okay. And I think Chris is at, yeah, Chris is realizing Chris what says, he has right. to do. I mean, he's at 27 right now in his life force. Yeah. Chris is, Chris is playing the go really wide game. And I think he has to. I agree, I mean, and he needs weather vane. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, where is the weather vane right now? And he doesn't. Ba okay, he doesn't battle with Luke. He says, "I'm gonna." No, yeah, I don't think you have to battle with Luke. Yeah, you're blocking all the damage right now. Yeah, and I don't. Again, I don't. Oh, as I was gonna say, I think you yeah, gotta move I mean, Ezra over. Moving Ezra. Yeah, Zeb draws on his own if unable to otherwise, which is good. And um, yeah, I think you got to move the ghost. Yep. Yeah, he just, just turned off all of Matt's damage. Now, again, Matt is going to have a ton of force to do in his force pile next turn, and he's got an eight card hand. Yeah, but like, where are you going to. So, first of all, if he's got a sniper dark strike, I'm using it against Kanan. And you're doing it out oh, of the. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if he has a sniper, this gets interesting. The other thing is. Zeb, while he does draw Destiny, if unable to otherwise, he's not that powerful at all. <laughs> like, but you're draw, you're adding four to the Destiny. You're yeah. if you don't hit Zeb, he's forfeit six. He's ability, he's defense value of two. Who is not going to hit him? Agreed. But you have to. It's not so much a, is he going to get hit if a weapon gets dropped there? It's, does Matt have Kylo or Mara in hand? Well, I mean, say, honestly, there was P a, P they're still coming through to would stop be... a, P-59 would be good. Well, P-59 would P -59 be the P-59 probably one. takes overflow coming back, though. Yeah, but I'm saying P-59 is the best one because it just does the two points of damage. And at this point, yeah. being that worse is 27 in life force and six in hand, if you can do two points of damage for essentially nothing, you're doing two points of damage. Yeah. And Matt, again, he just played that they're still coming through to look at the top card of his force file, really just to cycle a card. Like yeah, that was his that's... barrier canceller. Okay, so he does have a barrier. barrier. I'm surprised. Like I do, I he like might have had. Runner. He might have a second one. Or Chris didn't save any force. Chris can't barrier anything this yeah. turn. Yeah, I mean, he would. I'm need, a little what, surprised three? Chris didn't just throw that on grappling hook. Like I'm not sure what else he's gonna uh, think about grabbing. 
there's a lot that you still want to grab in this deck. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of just, like, sneaky interrupts you want to grab. Barrier, stunning leader. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. So this is going to be, and I think Matt's probably right now tanking just a little bit and going, all right, what do I have to take out what I need to take out? And, and that's what it comes down to. Like I said, he does not have to do a lot. And I like the, like, I agree with you. The line of I'm going to go to Tatooine, set up a drain of two on my first turn and threaten a drain of two each turn until you can come over and do something. I think that was the right play because it puts the pressure onto Chris and even, yes, but it's up a by weird line to play, but you're up by 27, you... but that's the thing. Like how often do you get to be up 27 yeah. and just, and, and that's the key. Like, like it's the line you don't think about because you're like, and it's not a winning line. It's not a line that wins you a game. And Matt, I think is the kind of player who wants to win the game no matter yeah. what he Matt and is, I respect the heck out of that. Like, yeah, don't get yeah, me wrong. Same. He, you and, know. And, and I'm glad that we have a player like that. Like I know last night we were talking, we were teasing Chris or we teased him, Brian Fred saying, you know, he should have just drew up. He should have done this. He should have done this to end the game. But at the same time, being that him and Ryan wanted to play the game out, I would re uh, from a commentary and a just enjoying watching two players play the game. I'd rather have that versus somebody who says, Oh, I got you the force I need you to. Okay, I draw. We're done. Yeah. Drawing up is boring. Like, I get why you do it. I get why yeah. it happens. It's just not interesting. I mean, I do, I would I would personally do it. I have no fault for anybody doing it, especially in like a match play situation where it's live. Because the one nice thing about this is people are going to have a day or two to cool speak off. Speak of think the, about uh, it. Speak of the droidy devil. devil. Yeah. And there's these Sunshine Guns. I like that play because now, again, Chris is going to look at the top two cards. He gets to take the lower of the two Destiny if he wants. And he gets to leave a high one up there. And he gets his five back in. He uh, still leaves 27 in reserve. Brian ended up winning Harpster. He yeah, Brian won advanced. He won by... So, it was a, it was MHT a is coming back here. I feel like there's a first strike coming down. Yeah, you've got to think. I mean... In a six card hand, though. Yeah, I mean, but this and is. The... I'm a little surprised to see he didn't go down with R. Singh in front of Yoda. Um. Yeah, that does uh, well because he did the audience chamber pull. Oh, or right, was used right, with right, the right, audience chamber right. pull, so he had to. He had to go in front of Anakin. Yeah. And like he might just be going. All right, well, I'm going to draw Battle Destiny and force you to lose Anakin or subtract and then you're going to have all these other places. I can kill Zeb. Like the, he, he's going to battle in a bunch of places here. Yeah. He's going to battle. I think he, you battle with Aura Sync first. You, you want to say the Zeb for set last or second to last. Yeah. So you, you want to make sure that Chris, you want to make him use his objective. Yeah, you want to have him use the objective before because having that shot against Zeb kind of hurts. Never oh. mind. All right. So Matt had the hand. Yep, this game's over. Like, it, it, I mean, it's not over right now. Yeah. But the match you can't is... dodge. You can't dodge with Zeb. You can't yep. narrow escape with Zeb. You can't blast or deflection Zeb. Uh, you can dodge away. You, you can just dodge can't away. subtract from That's the... That's the only thing. Destiny, yeah. it doesn't matter. He didn't have the dodge, so he's going to... No. So Take he's taking two, two, two here. here, which it is what it is. I mean, he, it's got to lose him from hand at that point. Yep, there's a Kanan. Yeah. And, and a, a somersault. somersault. What? Chris loves that card. It's switch battle okay. destiny numbers. If opponent has less than double your total power, use four force to switch the total power. If her opponent do one battle destiny, use one to switch. Okay, so he draws a four for battle destiny. I mean, Zeb still retains his forfeit, which is yeah. nice. Worf's just loses Zeb here. Well, he lost he, two plus Zeb. Yeah. Yeah, and, and he, he draws, draws a four. There's the Phantom. So he does draw a four. So, I mean, that does mean that P59, P59 is going to go. dies. Yeah. Um, but MHT's fine with that. Like, again, yeah, he's not. I mean, P59 did what he needed to. He wasn't expecting P59 to live. Probably not. Not sure what Chris is. Oh, it's, not sure what is stalling on. here. 
if MHT's got any, I guess, does MHT maybe have an answer? A dark time combo or something? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Just to keep to play. 50, yeah. Just to keep P59 yeah, on yeah, table, he, which he is fine. Dark time combo. Yeah. And I do like Chris. No reason not to do that. And yeah. Chris grabs it immediately, which makes a ton of sense. I mean, like at that point, you're I'm going to say this. Matt has immune. had Great. almost every card he's needed when he's needed it. Yeah. For. for <gasps> okay. Let's go, Werfs. That was unexpected. I likes it. And the crowd goes wild. There Not really wild, go. but the the crowd goes mild. We see P fifty nine go away, and but no, I mean, yeah, I, I sense is a card I almost always want to put in zero hour just because you do have a You're lot of Kanan. Jedi in the deck, yeah. but it just feels like it's one of those cards that I almost never can fit. In. And he's snap getting the Ezra back. Because I, Matt did not play Secret Plans. Yeah, and I, I like that just because it gets you a guy back. Yeah. Like. Yeah, and we're still, I mean, we're still in Matt's battle phase. So you still got to think he's going to battle here at least once or twice. Okay, there's no try. A turn too late, unfortunately. But, I mean, how yeah. often do you see sense in Zero Hour? I mean, I expect Matt is still probably going to battle with Aura. At against least. Anakin, at least, like or that. battle Kanan and Sabine, and go for the clear. Uh, you hit Kanan, you had a battle destiny. Yeah, I was gonna and... say like you can hit if you can hit Zuck, uh, Kanan here, because you can't hit Sabine. And we know that Matt looked at his reserve. Matt knew what was in his reserve. Yeah, and Matt knows what I his think, destiny like, are. Okay, this is where I'm thinking. If you're worse, if you have a blast of deflection, you've got the deflection, it, yep. you play it. Yep. So we were talking about Matt having the cards. Chris is having the cards now, and I love it. Chris is Chris is not going gently into this good night. Thank you. Is, that, I've been waiting to use that line, and I have never had that instance where I'm actually good enough to say it. Um, I know that there was the snap on Zeb, but this is where you kind of want to be able to like retrieve the Kanan or retrieve the Sabine because they're just so useful. And oof. yeah, that's gonna still that's still gonna clear the site. Because a six yeah. is really good. Yeah. I mean, so, that's a 12 for Battle yeah. Destiny. So Chris is, I think, still on his back feet here. There's no yeah. good spot to be in, but. 11, down by 11. I mean, that is still Kanan and Sabine. You, yeah, you, you lose the guys and that's it. And so, fine with, and like, if you're Matt, yeah, Newt Gunray goes away. And honestly, I think if you're Matt, you oh, still that also battle with another Aura. point of damage because of the epic event. Yep. Yep. There goes a resistant transport. So there goes Sabine. I think you still yeah. battle with Aura. I think Matt. Just well, actually, comes no. Back and says, uh, I think you battle with Aplak Insidious because if Ezra goes lost, that's another point of damage from the objective. Yeah, the but I don't think he's going to. Ezra's fully immune. Like yeah, if you battle you're there, two, you're you... getting two destiny, though. That's the thing. Yeah, but Ezra's fully immune. They're only down a little bit in power. Luke forfeits for seven, and yeah. Luke potentially hits Sidious and ruins your day to anyways. Interesting he uses Sidious to look at the two destiny. He might have forgotten exactly what his destiny were. Yeah, and, and wanted that just to know feels if it was bad worth the because shot or not. using Sidious to not, to not be able to pull always two there are... Like, always two there are, again, is another form of force loss. Yeah, it's just, uh, here, play this, make you lose two. Like, yeah. Uh, and I, I think it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I think Matt was just yeah. deciding, yep, he says, I'm not going to hit. <laughs> or I'm not guaranteed to hit, so instead I'll just draw this seven for Battle Destiny. I mean, if he's got... Ugh. Although I guess, like, oh... oh. Again, that just feels bad. I mean, the two doesn't matter. You're you're fine. Yeah, Matt's perfectly I mean, fine trading aura cover. for Anakin here. Yeah, Anakin covers. Yeah, you're Matt's perfectly content with the way this turn went. Yeah, he made Chris flip that. Chris is now down to essentially 
he can only lose five cards at this point, but I mean, he still does have Walkling. You could theoretically yeah. put the Walkling out of play here to retrieve Anakin because Secret Plans is not on the table. Yeah, I'm... I feel like I would have moved Zuckus to Lothal, though. No. Chris has no space to come after you. You spread for the drain. Yeah. If you move them both to Lothal, then... Chris can move the ghost over there yeah. and you can't drain. Yeah. That's Instead, true. you just say, fine, move him to Lothal, block that drain. I'm going to run away. Like, I got my turn. Matt got the turn he needed. Yeah. Which I was agree the with flip you. back, burn you off a lot of guys. Now he doesn't care. Yeah. He's, I mean, Chris is draining for three here. Yeah, which is fine. As we see a barrier go lost to the drain of Mandalore, drains for two at the Jabba's Palace. As we see Galid and Forlom with Concussion Rifle V both go lost. Yep, those are fine. I mean, like, yeah. I, like I said earlier, Chris is firmly ahead at this point, which is really good for him. But again, having lost game one by 27 just means yeah. it, he's in such a unfortunate predicament. But I think predicament. Matt would have played this very differently. No doubt. If it wasn't a, I need to win by yeah. 28. Because like now he's going to move the ghost back and flip himself again. Yes. And that's good. But it doesn't move the needle. Yeah, he, he's still giving up a drain of one. And he's still got to do something here. Yeah, he gets Leia to the audience chamber. I mean, the audience chamber has already used this game text, so I, I don't hate that. I, I like that play because... I, I think it's a good play. Yeah. Like he's, Again, you have to get as much damage as you can. Yeah. And I agree with you, he has to move the ghost to Lothal because it will flip him back. Again, the problem is Matt is going to have a plethora of force to work with next turn, and he's got a five-card hand. The question is what those five cards are. If He's it's got like, a bunch of force to work with, but yeah, it's really, what are those five cards? Because he did just play a lot of stuff. Yeah. Last I, turn, I, he didn't draw I mean, anything. And, like, And we saw that Erica was drawn for Destiny, which means he doesn't have a, he probably doesn't have a Marjade with lightsaber. So the question yeah. is, like, who does he have character-wise that are left? Um, I mean, he played P-59, played Aura Singh, Aplax on the table, Sidious is on the table, Maul's on the table. Is still in deploy Kylo phase. Kylo Ren is probably the next best character, and yeah, Chris is still in the deploy phase. Like, is Chris trying to think of somebody else to... No, I, I think he's just thinking about, like, if he wants to throw down another guy somewhere. You know what I wouldn't hate right now if he had it? Hmm. Hanchu and the Falcon. Oh, if you can put the Honchu and the Falcon to... You drop that in front of Fett, that flips you? Yeah. So he's going to use... He puts Walkling out of play to retrieve the Anakin. And I think if he's got the Unita here, you put the Unita to get Sabine back. Yeah, if he's got the Unita, that's... Like, he's just... He's at 27 cards down right now. Because 9 plus 9 plus 9. You don't see that too often. Like, this is a tight... It's a tight game, and, and it's unfortunate because of, the, of what happened in game one, because like I said, this game, I think, is... Th if this was the first game, I think we would have a really good match. It would be... And I think both players would be in such a position that we go into game two. Like, I, I personally, I yeah. wish this was game one. And, Personally, I wish this was ooh, game one. I like this. I I like MHG this and I hate this. I like this and I hate this. I mean, like we it. know he's got a seven. Yeah, and that's why we know he has a seven. I think the next one is a three. It's got to be good. Four. Four. So that's an 11. 11 is going mean, to be Chris rough. Gonna, yeah. Chris, I don't think Chris has the destiny to get this. There's yeah. a four. Yeah. So he needs a seven and I don't think he's got one. Yeah. And he did it in the battle phase, which means he can't. Yeah, he can't uh, put anybody else down there. No Unita to get the cannon yep. back. That was very smart. That was MHT a, played that yeah, perfectly. And, and on there's top of the that, Roth's it Maul. causes another point point of 
yeah. loss. I mean, yeah, and I think that was just that also strong. mean, and yep, because that also meant even moving the ghost back, he doesn't flip. Yeah, and that, we do see the concede. Chris says, yeah. "Yep, that was that was enough." Um, spectacular run by both players. I mean, Worf's top four Worf's, is absolutely I mean, amazing. Oh yeah, like. I'm, and, and like and, I said, no, no offense to Matt, but how often do you see a player have that starting hand in zero hour or no idea to put you in a position to mitigate all your, essentially all damage from your opponent? Yeah, no, that was, Matt had a spectacular start, but he played it perfectly oh, as well. Oh, yeah. 100%. Like you can have an amazing start and still not play it perfectly. And that sometimes happen so the finals will be it's an all new matthew ally. harrison it's trainer all 100 new ally versus finals. brian fred yeah um as soon as we know when those are scheduled you guys will know when it is and we will and stream it live as it happens and Your just to check twitch really looks quick. really fuzzy dude huh twitch looks really fuzzy yeah i don't, I don't know. know if that's I, know. I think it's you just me oh, i might be me but if you're referring to it right here, that's supposed to be fuzzy. No, like all of it looks kind of fuzzy. Huh. I mean, it looks it looks good on my end, but I don't know. I'll, I'll, right. I'll take a look at it. Uh, I will say this. Looking at the bracket challenge, we have Edge Chien is up at number one right now. Uh, Idea Track is number two. I do not uh, – so after that, I mean, you got to think like – now those are our t one and twos for the prediction contest. Uh, losing bracket submission and new allies win again. I don't know who you guys are. Uh, would have loved to have known who you guys are, but uh, you probably are playing for second and or probably playing for third. Uh, if Brian Fred wins, uh, I want to say that Idea Track might be the victor. So we'll see what happens though. But yeah, once we get the game, uh, once we have this. Uh, once we know when they are going to play, uh, everybody else will be the first to know. Yeah, and it'll be it'll be awesome. Certainly looking forward to... One way or another, it's going to be awesome. Seeing it go, this was a heck of a... He heck of a run by both players. Congratulations to MHT. Making it in there. And... You know, this will be... A, Great, great, great final game. So definitely, we we will see see where it goes. But I'm gonna go catch some football. Football. Yeah, I, I got a fantasy football game that's very tight right now, and and yeah, I mean the fan the football. I need game to yell at the is, TV yeah. screen. So because it'll certainly help. Is, is it the killer Beasley? No, no, that one's not close. I oh. rolled that one pretty hard. I got, uh, I, I'm right now, I went into today's game down by two points. I have HN and he's got Kyron Williams. So it was going to be a real close, real close game. Yeah. So we'll see, see where it goes. But. Sounds good. But uh, that's all we have for tonight. So everybody, again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, not on top of the OCS finals, look for the, uh, the Champions League to start next month. Uh, once we get into that, we'll again have uh, some stream action going for that as well. And then I believe January, watch out for the first, uh, the most recent major or the next major, which is going to be over in Las Vegas. So make sure you guys stay tuned to that. Uh, outside of that, Garrett, it is always a pleasure to do this with you. Uh, so, uh, oh, yes, Thursday, Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern, we're going to have the. Uh, the Karelia Regionals Finals. It's going to be Mike Kessling versus Sam Tashima. Uh, I believe Joe Olson and uh, your wonderful Ohio host, Carl Koenig, are going to be on the call. So make sure you guys tune into that. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be on the PC channel or if it's going to be on Joe's channel. But again, again, once we find out more information, we'll have that available. Uh, but yeah, that's all I've got for you guys. Garrett, anything else? Nope. That's uh, I'm looking forward to watching that match on Thursday when I all my kid around uh, things so sounds good well 
if that's everybody uh, uh that's all we got for tonight so again thank you all for watching uh be safe enjoy the rest of your week and as always may the force be with you good night everybody good night